This must be the world's fastest cappuccino. Look at this with the Gerpy, look at that. Go on, go on, go on, go on, cut him off. Hello everyone and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. And yes, the Suzuki Cappuccino is in. Absolutely iconic car dropping with update 1.13. And we are gonna take it for a spin at the perfect circuit for the cappuccino. Let's go. So here we go, Rats to Cuba, the perfect circuit for the cappuccino. Really tight twisty circuit. Let's see what this thing can do. How much power does how much power? This thing has no power. Okay, how is it in the corners? Side by side with the GR Yaris. Oh, we're gonna just squeeze past the Yaris there. Past that old uh, Fiat. And yeah, we're, we're struggling. We're struggling here. Actually, this car is not. Straight out of the used dealership on comfort mediums. This is not the car of our dreams. Let's take this to the workshop. And let us mod this thing, so we're going to come back and destroy this race. Let's do it. So, we're going to go to the tuning shop, and we're going to apply some upgrades. Money is no object here. We want to do this thing justice, so... The carbon brakes... Mm -mm. You, I'm sure you've seen my video on that. We ain't applying carbon brakes. Do slow brakes. We'll do the racing clutch. We'll do fully customizable suspension. We'll do fully customizable transmission. We'll do brake bias. Uh, we'll put racing softs on it. And we'll do the brake pads, obviously. The manifold. Uh, you can see we're running now at a pretty scary 64 brake. Silencer, yes, absolutely. Racing filter, yep. Intercooler, yes. We'll put the anti lag on. Okay. We'll polish the ports, we'll balance the engine, and we'll do the stroke up. And that's going to be the main part, because we're not going to do what you we'll do a crankshaft as well. Uh, oh, and we'll do a high RPM turbo. And fully customizable LSD we'll do as well. So there, oh, and, and we're going to take the weight down, so it's going to weigh less than the common house fly. Weight reduction. Weight reduction. Uh, weight reduction. And um, we're not going to get a power restrictor. We ain't restricting any power here. We'll do the bore up. We'll do the camshaft. And we'll do the pistons. Oops. Okay, we can't do the pistons. So, there we go. Those are our upgrades. Now... We've got to go to GT Auto and we've got to spruce this thing up. Let's spruce it up. So first things first, we've got to do the wide body. We've got to make this thing wide. Here we go. It's now a grande cappuccino. Little coffee. There. there we go. Can you see how wide it is? Right, time to mod it. We're talking wangs and that sort of stuff. Here we go. Yes. Oh, got to be the... Uh, I think it's got to be that one, actually. It's got to be that one. Uh, yeah. Go a bit need for speed on this with the skirts. Very nice. It's looking a bit like a pocket rocket right now. And we've got to do the wheels. The wheels, you know, these are going to divide opinion. Let's go KMC. And uh, we're going to go for these ones. Six five ones. Uh, we're going to make them big like that and wide and wide <laughs> so there we go it looks a bit like an RC car at the moment doesn't it uh, right we're going to paint it so here we go here's our modded modded um, but yet untuned cappuccino so there's one last stage we've got to do we're going to go back to Suzuka uh, to, to Tsukuba even and we're going to do the arcade race in the hardest difficulty. Bring it on. And let's just tune a couple of things. So we're going to lower the ride height. We'll have it just a little bit higher at the back. And I want to... Actually, I don't think I want to lower the initial talk on this because actually there may be a lot of power. So we're going to lower these just to make it a bit more manageable on the throttle and downforce 
we're gonna we want more downforce in the rear i think so we're gonna go 220 at the rear and that's gonna be that we'll see what the gears are like after um, and we'll turn the anti-lag on so there we go right so we're running at 138 brake horsepower we basically doubled it how are we gonna do let's find out okay we've returned we've returned to this race what is that behind us okay then oh my word okay let's do this again <laughs> right this thing has a lot of power like the power to rate on this must be pretty crazy it actually feels like a missile Oh, it corners very nice. Oh, it corners very nicely. Hear the turbo. Trying to get the max out of it. What an interesting car this is to drive. Go on, go on, little cappuccino. This must be the world's fastest cappuccino. Look at this with the gurpy. Look at that. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Cut him off. Nice. Right. That high RPM turbo. Oh, I could do with a little bit more power. It is so nimble in the corners. This thing is actually, like, genuinely insane through the corners. Like, it feels broken. Let's try and go through the first corner here at Sakiba. Because I feel like you can carry just like a stupid amount of speed through the corner and the rear end just doesn't let go. Look at that. Look at the crazy lines you can take in this thing. Right, two Ferrari 308s and initial D. This thing is a weapon at Sakuba. This thing, what have we created? This thing is insane. There's so much cornering grip. Six seconds to P2. Can we get them? They're fighting as well. Go on, lay down the throttle. That back end is planted. That wang, honestly, is just... <sighs> Got more downforce than Jupiter, that thing, I think. It just... Look how planted it is through here. Powering on now. Look how much time we're gaining through there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If I can get kind of more initial pickup in second there. This thing rotates like crazy. Right, can we go around the outside? You bet we can. Right, five seconds to Mr. Michelle. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I don't, I'm not sure we're going to do it. Get a P1. Come on, little cappuccino. Oh, there's another lap to go. Oh, there's last, okay, there's one more lap to go. We might win this race. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If you're watching, I bet, I bet you want this little cappuccino to beat wherever it is in first place. He gets away from us on the straight, but we're going to try and carry more speed through here. Not the best line, not the best line. Come on, little cappuccino. Four point six seconds. Oh, this could be different. It's a lap car though. There's a lap fear. That might be a spanner in the works for him. Oh, he's being held up. Oh, he's got past him. 3.6. It's that AMG, isn't it? What's an AMG doing in this field? It's like a race spec Mercedes AMG. Oh, we did our best. We did our best in this capture. And we destroyed the rest of the field. This thing is a monster. You know what I want to do? I want to 
if we can work out the top speed. I want to take this into uh, Suzuka. So here we go, Rat Suzuka. I've made a few tweaks to the Cappuccino's gearbox. It's a 20 car race at Suzuka, one lap. Can we win in the Cappuccino? If we can win in the Cappuccino in one lap, this is the hardest difficulty. It must be the fastest Cappuccino in the game. There's a Superbird there, interestingly. Right, it's going to be a, w a real weapon through the SS, I imagine. Let's see, can we go up the inside of the CSL? There's not really enough space, but we'll find some space. Oh, the Superbird almost crashed into him. Try and go around the outside of the Superbird now. There we go, there we go, there we go. And there's a lot of cars. And in any other car, it would be very difficult to pass at the S's, but this car is so small and nimble, it kind of finds gaps that don't really exist. <laughs> Look at this thing, we're just carving through. Round the outside of the M3. Yes, we can. Outside of the Honda. Oh, little drift, little drift as close as we dare. Nice, nice, nice. We gain so many positions in the S's that normally you wouldn't even be able to dream of gaining. Right, Nissan, and here is a GR Yaris. And another Nissan coming up. Where is the leader? I think the leader might have just gone through Degna 1 there. Oh, two wheels on this thing. Trying to keep under control. Here's a Genesis. Wow, look at that for an overtake. Just up the inside on the kerb. And there are the top three there. Five seconds ahead as we go into the hairpin. Got to be careful on exit here because we are packing some serious power in this thing. Second gear. And power. So, now I'm hoping my tweaks to the gearing are really going to help us out here. Looks like I should be trying to upshift maybe even a bit earlier. Yeah, I think shifting up early in this thing. Look at it. It's absolutely rocket now. More than 110 miles an hour into Spoon. And I bet it's going to find the second apex that's been quite nicely. Here it is. You want to just touch the kerb. It's all over it. It's all over it. And we can lay down the power. Right. It's going to be interesting on 130R, isn't it? Ahead. They're all fighting. Let's get up those gears. How much can we carry through 130R in our little cappuccino? They're going for it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm going to just do a lift. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, it's going to be tricky to win this one. We're running out of corners. Second gear. Second gear. Come on, can we get the AMG at least? Oh, no, it's going to be a P4. It's only going to be a P4, but this cappuccino has no right to be battling with an AMG like that. <laughs> so let me know what you think about this. Have a go tuning your own cappuccino and let me know how fast you can get around the tracks because this is quite a fun car to drive. I think it would be good in our community to some league races. So hope you enjoyed that. Feel free to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.